Then a little rough stuff. Mason working on P.J. Brown. Ooh, a little elbow. Then Derek Coleman says, back off, my man. They exchange pleasantries, and the refs call a double T. The next 46-39 at the half. And a traveling violation on Geiger. 14th turnover on Miami, and Geiger and Oakley have some words. Gets a ball, starts. He actually walk up the hard foul. By After Mason, the violation. Yeah. And it looks like Anthony Mason is uh, headed back to the locker room. And a foul on McLeod. Mason and McLeod pump each other. And Mason just walks into McLeod. That starts it, Mark. He just walks right into McLeod. Get out of my way. Nothing. Well, the conclusion of the uh, play leading to the timeout. And Drexler and Mason have words. But Williams steps between. Oakley calls for the foul. Drexler under the basket. I think that right arm on Drexler's chest might have bothered him from Anthony. Right the Chicago bench. Harley behind the back through the fouls on Rivers. While he's going after Mason. Marley had words with Mason and Pat Riley rushing to center court. Personal foul on Campbell and a technical foul. Against the Bucks, Mason and Rogers got. Second one good. 4.4 seconds in OT. Now you got to try for a steal here if you're. And there it is with 3.7 oh, seconds and Mason and Johnson all. square off. Not good at all. And Jeff Van Gundy's right in the middle of it again. Oh, Van, Van Gundy is saying to all the guys <laughs> on the bench, get back over to the bench. And Mason and Larry Johnson. What is Anthony Mason? Thinking? And Larry Johnson still pointing at Mason and Mason starts to come after him again. Kevin O'Neill and Jeff Van Gundy trying to restrain Larry Johnson, and none of the uh, Heat people left the bench. Remember what Mason told us Jeff, any more game. Now, the ball, there's the one shot, and then another one. And the official, Michael Smith, oh, is he, right in there. So they're going to, what, they're going to call a technical on Mason. Ich habe gehalten für die großen Leute der Heat, wie man gegen die Kemmel Mutombo spielen sollte. Die beiden bekämpfen sich schon. That's two free throws coming to Vladi Divac. And the roof starting to cave in on the Lakers. Well, Elvin and Mason have been really banging bodies. And, well, there was no excuse for what Mason did because the whistle had already sounded. Vladi or, had been the recipient of the foul from Elvin. So Mason should have just walked away from the play. And that's what got the, the sides uh, upset at one another. Vladi, 13 points, 16 rebounds. And the Knicks get the new 24. Hopper pops. It counts and a foul. And Mason and McKee having words. Mason being restrained. However, Norman stepped out of bounds. He tried to Anthony. Caught the oh, and the foul call. Anthony Mason on the foul. And Mason having some words. Battling with Norman underneath the basket. Rebound Norman. Clippers hanging it off the boards. Mason and Williams had some words. It's on the block attempt by Norman. And then the little... It is a double technical. And that means Mason... Back on November 19th, we also had some sparks flying. Greg Anthony went in for a shot. John Williams KO'd him. And that ignited feelings, a lot of pushing. Charles Oakley, Mason came in to dispose of Williams, and the emotions were flying in L.A. About a game. Uh, Mason going at it with the Divots, trying to box him out. A little pushing ensues there between the two. Away. Yes. Oh, we have something brewing here. Anthony Mason involved, along with Chris Morris. Mason wisely walks away. Oh, 
Well, we discussed this earlier. There are some behind him. And then Morris swinging that arm around to get rid of Mason. That started things. Ball. Starks. John Starks with a pretty move. That's 82. The Knicks 74. All Mason and Bowie eyeing each other. The presence of Mason and the foul is called on Mason and he gets an ear pull from McGuire. Well, early with Anthony and Mason up the floor, Starks is fouled and had the beginnings of a beautiful rise to the hoop. Now Edwards and Mason exchanging some trash talk. Catches Anthony Mason in the jaw with that padded left elbow. And Anthony Mason feels this is intentional as he tries to clear himself, but there's not a lot of room to move there. Jackson. Look out, Mason and Chambers started to go. Well, Chambers doesn't know about it. He just turns around and runs up court. Wants more. Well, Mason off the bench a moment ago, lower left side. You see Mason having an effect on uh, Chambers. That'd be a three-point play. Oh, a hard foul. Ushered by Williams on Anthony and Oakley. And Williams looking to go. Mason grabs Williams from behind. Mason pointing fingers. Mason trying to get away from Norman. Hey, I perfectly understand. his own rebound and gets fouled and exchanges words with Isaiah Thomas who oh, thought Isaiah, about throwing the ball he out. has a lot to hold himself back Isaiah's bursting he wants to go at Mason and he's coming he continues to come Mason has a Rodman tough denies that shot attempt by Mason Mason however with his strength because then he gets that rebound and he's besides and then gives Isaiah a mouthful John, how about Mason winning that battle with Rodman in position? The starts. And a loose ball foul is called. Oh, Mason shoving the ball into the chest of Thompson. Activities to make himself stronger and ready for these situations. Oh, Ewing and Smith started to go. Davis looks to get involved. Shrimp also very angry. were thrown just pushing and shoving. Well, they say double fouls, and Ewing will go to the bench. Starks. Oh, he's clobbered by Davis. And here we go again. Anthony Mason went at Dale Davis. Rick Anthony steps in. That's the second time tonight that John Starks. Oh, well, I don't agree with you here. Well, I, I, I think this is a, it's gotten to the point, even though the Knicks are a very rough physical team, Indiana's trying to send a message, but you got to protect the player here. That's, I mean, it's sickening watching this constantly. Everybody flexing their muscles oh, after a hard play. But that's a bad foul. It's a break. Mason all the way. Oh, oh and shot by Mason. It could have been a taunting situation and just a little shove. But it's a 24-second violent Anthony Mason in a uh, shoving match. And that the frustration scuffle breaks out between Otis Thorpe and Anthony Mason. A couple of technicals result from that little skirmish. They're playing Johnson aggressively and a foul. Oh, pushing and shoving between the two. Mason doesn't like the fact that Larry Johnson's been doing as well as he's been. Many think the Knicks dug their own hole by way of the LJ trade, although some don't want to discuss it. That time he took it to the hoop. And I think he heard Pat the first time, but let's go. A moment ago. Anthony Mason whispering a, a sweet nothing in the ear of Rick Mahorn. A little uh, pushing and shove. And don't tell me Mace couldn't play pulling guard for the Jets in a pinch, because he could. Angle was wide open for him. Here's Perdue. Oh, he is hit. Hit hard. 
out by Mason, who looks to challenge Purdue. I think he stuck his tongue out at him. Purdue took a swipe at Mason. Pat Riley trying to break it up along with the officials. Anthony is a flagrant foul on Mason. So Purdue will go to the line to get two plus possessions. Second flagrant foul called on the Knicks tonight. Looked like Mason had the tongue out after that to incite the reaction that he got. So he got the worst of it with the calls. 